Hey friends, I'm Steph from stephaniejenkins.com and cheapskatecook.com and we are gonna talk about what we eat in a week. I would like to do breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but today we're going to just do dinners because I wanna show you how I kind of roll over meals. I like to call them planned overs because we don't eat a lot of leftovers. Like you kind of picture putting everything on the table and then you just microwave it and eat it. What I do is I'll make a few staples and then we just roll them over into different meals throughout the week. When I do it this way, I maximize my time so I'm not spending a whole lot of time in the kitchen every week. And I'm also helping us save money and eat healthy because I can really focus on the money saving techniques that are going to help us in the long run. I know when you're tired and you've been working all day and it's the end of the day and you try to make a fresh dinner from scratch every night, that's exhausting and we usually lean towards convenience food. But doing it this way kind of helps me minimize my time in the kitchen and helps me eat real food and save money. Keep in mind we don't eat perfectly. There's going to be stuff in here that you're going to be like, oh I would never eat that. That's fine. I'm just going to show you what works in our life and hopefully you can find some ideas that will help in yours. For day one, we had one of our family's favorite meals, and that is just chicken, rice, and veggies. I'm a little worried you're gonna be super bored by our meals, but I'll go ahead and try to be really honest. Chris loves plain chicken breast, my kids love plain rice, and our whole family loves salad. So while I know this doesn't work for everybody, chicken, rice, and veggies is one of our go-to meals every week. I like to make chicken in the Instant Pot. Sometimes it is a whole chicken, sometimes it's chicken thighs, this time it was chicken breast. This is definitely one of those meals where we emphasize eating lots of veggies on our plate and then we use the chicken to top the rice or use it on top of our salad. And then we make the rice in the Instant Pot as well. This is one of those times when two Instant Pots is really handy, but I don't have two Instant Pots so it works out just fine. Sometimes I'll make something on the stove top and another thing in the Instant Pot. Sometimes if I've already made the chicken ahead of time a day or two ago, then I don't need to worry about it and I can just make the rice that day. The recipes for all of these things, the chicken, the rice, the salad, all of this stuff is on different videos here on YouTube so I'll go ahead and link those and the recipes are on my blog. We usually serve our salads buffet style so I'll just put out whatever toppings we have. Sometimes they're really fancy like this, sometimes it's literally just lettuce and carrots and dressing but everybody gets to top it however they like. Day two, I made homemade cheese pizza. This is one of our family's favorites. Obviously it's pizza, it's hard not to love it. But this works out really well because I can kind of alternate between meals with meat in them and meatless meals that my family really likes. I usually make my own pizza sauce which will just involve whatever tomato thing we have in our pantry. In this case it's diced tomatoes that I just blend it up with some seasonings. Sometimes it's tomato paste that I'll thin with water and more seasonings and sometimes it's just tomato sauce or leftover spaghetti sauce. It really doesn't matter but the fact is I've rarely ever buy actual pizza sauce. Making homemade pizza crust is pretty easy as far as yeast breads go because you don't need to worry about it rising properly. I do like to bake bread so I usually make a huge batch and I'll use a little bit for the pizza and then I will make like rolls or bread afterwards or just freeze it and use it for pizza crust later. Next we had chicken fried rice. This is a really easy stovetop meal that is veggie loaded, gluten free, dairy free, all of those things, and pretty budget friendly. Of course I'm using leftover chicken from the other day. Sometimes I won't use chicken at all and it'll just be fried rice. You make fried rice with eggs so there's protein in there, there's lots of vegetables, it's really delicious. It's not necessarily family friendly in our family because my kids don't love cooked vegetables but I make it anyway and everybody eats it and it's delicious. You can check out the video for this one or you can check out the recipe in the description. Okay, I know a lot of us are dealing with food allergies and that makes 
saving money and eating healthy very challenging. We've dealt with lots of food allergies over the years. We were gluten-free and dairy-free for a long time. I have a son who's sensitive to eggs and corn. We've done Whole30, we've done like AIP healing diets, that kind of thing. So this looks different depending on the season of life that we're in and what we're dealing with at the time. But I just wanna encourage you that no matter what your food allergy issues are, you can still save money and eat healthy. This is not a competition, there is no right or wrong way to do it. You need to focus on what works for you in your real life. And I'm gonna show you what works for me in my real life. The next day we just had leftovers or make your own meals. I try to do this at least two days a week. So everyone's just on their own for dinner. We'll have plenty of leftovers from previous meals or you're welcome to just make whatever you like, whether that is a sandwich or eggs and toast or a snack plate. For snack plates, we just grab whatever we have that is simple and delicious and definitely has plants and throw it onto the plate. No cooking, just maybe some chopping. I mean, I mean, really, honestly, this is like our favorite thing to eat. The last two days, we had vegetable soup. I have a recipe for this, which I will put in the description, but basically it's just onions, carrots, celery, lots of really delicious seasonings, tomatoes, and some greens, and some bone broth or vegetable broth, all stirred up in the Instant Pot and just cooked for a few minutes. It's really, really yummy, pretty budget friendly. If I have leftover chicken, I'll throw some of that in. I actually have another version of this on my blog where I use like ground beef or ground turkey to make a soup soup with a little more protein in it, but in this case I just use beans. I'll serve this with homemade bread one night, maybe crackers and cheese the next night, or some grilled cheese, but this pot of soup will actually feed us for several nights, so that kind of rounds out the rest of the week. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you got some ideas for dinner and how to kind of roll over things and maybe maximize your time in the kitchen. I'm Steph from stephaniejenkins.com and cheapskatecook.com. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more ways to save money and eat healthy.